Broadly speaking, my, my area is Victorian medievalism. And so I, my research is about 19th century culture and how and why they use the medieval as a cultural paradigm. Dr. Jim Cheshire, Reader in Cultural History, Lincoln School of Art and Design. Tennyson is, is, a, is a central figure in all of this, mainly because of the, the poetry he writes, the dredges up medieval legends about King Arthur and the idols of the king, but also other more obscure Arthurian figures, the Lady of Shalott famously. The Tennyson Research Centre in Lincoln is a very, very important archive, but it's quite hidden in a way. When the bicentenary came about, we, we wanted to promote this. Our aim was really to put on an exhibition of national importance. We borrowed famous pre raphaelite paintings off Tate Britain, we borrowed works off the Royal Collection, um, famous JW Waterhouse paintings, and we put the material in the archive alongside these things to give them this sense of the bigger picture surrounding, surrounding Tennyson. It acted as a centrepiece for a whole range of other events in Lincolnshire that celebrated Tennyson's bicentenary. So there were, I don't know, 10 or 15 other events dotted around the county. And this exhibition was really the centrepiece. We've had a very positive response from the, the, the scholarly community. I've had publications subsequently, book chapters, articles, um, and invited lectures. What we also found is that a lot of people became interested in the work we were doing at the time. A group called the 62 Group, an uh, uh, innovative textiles group, they came over to Lincoln and I lectured them about our approach to the exhibition and some of the objects in the exhibition. And quite a lot of those artists then responded to the, the material in, in the Tennyson Archive as a jumping off point for their own creative practice. This has been a theme actually, there's been quite a lot of contemporary artists who are interested in, in the material um, in the Tennyson Archive because it, it speaks to us today, um, the, the clash between high art and popular culture, between money and art, these are quite enduring themes and they're very evident in Tennyson's life and work.